there guys, welcome back to another episode of the Superboss Project with myself, Luxury One. And uh, this morning, uh, me and my dad went on a bit of a road trip and we managed to get these bad boys. And uh, there's two there, there's two there as well. So we've got a total of four of these bad boys. They're quite big, they probably uh, fit on the roof of the uh, master quite nicely, which is cool. Uh, the way they connect, so... You've got this wire on the back here, uh, the other two solar panels go in there, and then they all feed off of this one onto a wire over here, if I could just find it. So it goes, it'll go into this one, this, this wire will obviously be a bit shorter for the van, and then this connects onto the back there, so as you can see, solar panel there, solar panel there, and then the battery there, which is where this wire goes so this one with the battery connectors on the back we'll probably end up changing that for um, something that's a bit more permanent for the battery than a pair of crocodile clips but that's still cool uh, it came with a frame and uh, the people who sold it to us are actually some of the nicest people we've ever met they were really friendly and they explained a whole bunch of how the solar panels work and just showed yeah they were more than willing to show us everything working uh, the guy even charged his phone up for a couple of seconds off this thing, so it 100% everything's still good to go. Um, he had them all set up and ready to show us, basically, when we got there, and that was fantastic. So, yeah. We've got ourselves some wicked solar panels for the bus now, guys. I'm really pleased with that. I think that's amazing. Uh, I can't thank the guys who sold it to us enough. I can't thank Fredders for pointing them out on the internet. That was awesome of him. And uh, we got some other bits and pieces as well. So, we got... Uh, where we've been having a bit of trouble with all the car batteries that we've got, uh, my dad's got this old golf cart thing, and it's got a few batteries that he's no longer using. He's moved on to lithium ion or a better type of battery, basically. And uh, the reason golf cart batteries would be better than car batteries is because car batteries are only meant for that sort of turn the engine on and it will make the starter motor run and that is pretty much one burst go get the starter motor going and then the alternator will help charge the battery and all that business whereas a leisure battery is meant for a more sort of long term electrical use so for things like lights and, and pumps and bits and pieces like that so golf cart batteries we can assume because they're used to run motors for a sustained amount of time, electric motors for a sustained amount of time, we can assume that they're going to be good enough for the super bus to be used as a leisure battery. So that's, that's cool. So hopefully in the next segment of this video, you'll see the new batteries that we've got, which are actually old batteries, but that's fine. They're perfect for what we need them for. Uh, probably less um, amp hours than a standard leisure battery, obviously, because they're only little um, golf cart batteries. But at the same time, if we get enough of them and link them in parallel, uh, they should have more than enough juice to keep us running on the road. And with these solar panels, then pretty much hopefully nothing will stop us, do you know what I mean, electricity-wise. So I just thought I'd try to share that with you, and hopefully we will catch you in a few minutes working on the bus. See you soon, guys. Bye! Okay, so here are our new batteries, two golf cart batteries. Um, if I zoom in on the details here, <laughs> there's a, um, they're both 22 amp hours each, um, so in total once we link these in parallel they should become 44, sorry my math is terrible, 44 amp hours and then that should be enough to see us through a night and a day at least uh, and then on top of that we've got the uh, obviously we've got this solar charger just charging that battery the single one at the moment obviously neither of them are linked in parallel at the moment um, we're just charging one of them and that seems to be going all right it's a bit of a weird day today it's been raining but it's really sunny so we're getting the best of both worlds i guess and then i've got a spare one over here um, this is also 20 yeah this is also 22 amp hours it's not the same size um, but it should work just as, just as well. Um, so yeah, we got that, and we're gonna look at the. We're gonna look at this today. We're gonna have a, a little fiddle with this and see if we can't get this to. We're gonna try and straighten it out a little bit and make it so the cooker sits on the shelf a bit better. So that's all good. And if I go up the front here, this charge controller. 
is probably what we're going to be putting in in place of all those little charge controllers and then we'll use those little solar charge controllers as backup units whenever this one needs repairs hopefully it won't because it looks like a serious bit of kit so uh, yeah that's what we're going to try and get on with today um, but yeah those are the new batteries and uh, we'll catch you back up once we've got some progress see you in a sec guys Alright guys, we are back. Uh, Fredders has just finished pulling out the legs so we can get to work on this. It's a floating kitchen at the moment. Looks very cool. Uh, we've got to put the frame back in though to put the uh, cooker back in. And I apologise for the noise once again. If I uh, show you out the front here. Look all that rain. And we also found another hole. If I'm spinning the camera around, I'm sorry to all of you who hate it. I'm, I apologise. There is actually a hole up there. Oh look, you can almost see daylight if I get it in the right position. There you go. So we need to go over that, find other similar holes and be sure to plug them in. Really, in hindsight, probably should have done this before we started putting the roofing up and that. But, uh, well, there was only really one leak in here that we were aware of and that was the main area above the kitchen. So, yeah, we're cracking on with this. Uh, I found some wires and bits and pieces. I might spin around again if I can find where I'm looking. Yes, okay, I'm spinning around again. Please ignore the cookies. So we found this box of wiring and stuff. We're going to try and uh, make the batteries at the back there parallel and all that good stuff. So uh, once we've sorted all these bits and pieces out, we will get back at you. Okay, so these bad boys are now in parallel and uh, it might be a bit risky doing this because I've been treading on the wire all day. But hopefully this will work. Oh yeah, the laser batteries work. Yeah, I'm excited. I think Fred is excited too, but he's hard at work putting the uh, gas fittings in. We managed to find, I came out of the garage with this box of stuff. Didn't have any eyes in it. If you look over here, we've had to do a temporary solution until we can buy some eyes, which is just wrap the wire around. But they are in parallel. I'm quite proud of myself. <laughs> it's all working. Quite amazed. But um, we've I found this box of junk and I was literally throwing it off to one side. I was like, oh, there's nothing useful in here because obviously to get the eyes off, you need to uncrimp them and then you need to basically have the crimping tool to be able to put them back on and we haven't got that at the moment, unfortunately. And just as I was throwing it off to one side, um, one, of the wire, one of the cables in it was actually a pipe and it had the exact fitting we needed on it for the gas stove which is odd because this box is probably o older than me do you know what I mean this this box has been lying around in the house for quite some time and uh, to find out that it fits something in the camper van was almost like it was crazy it was destiny <laughs> so uh, yeah we're cracking back on. Uh, I've just got a few little bits to figure out here. I've got to put the new solar charge controller in. And then that should be it, man, for the batteries. Uh, I'm pretty proud of myself. I managed to get them working. So, yeah, cracking on. Fredders has found an ingenious way to check the level of all the shelves and stuff in the bus. You put a can of Dr. Pepper in the middle, and if it moves, it's not level. But if you've got it like that... Perfect, it's level. How cool is that? And if we come around here and look at this, there you go. There's the new charge controller in place. Uh, the Zig unit's got its front on. We might put this here, we're not sure yet. We've got to work out the, um, the front that's going on. Oh shit, what's going on here? How do I zoom out? There you go. So we've got to work out a big sort of cover for all this uh, so only the fronts are visible and then when we're around the back of the van you'll be able to do all the wiring and everything so you see around the back there if that's not too dark yeah you'll be able to do all the wiring and this wire in here is all ready to be fed out to the solar panels once they're on the roof so yeah doing quite well lots of progress today and it's all working it's mad Okay guys, we have got an awful lot of progress done today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you come over here, you can see the gas connector. Uh, we need to extend one of these, so we're probably going to end up getting a longer wire. Uh, so this one 
hang on, if I can get it out from behind here. So this one would ultimately go to the gas bottle. Obviously we've got to cut a hole in the side of the box for this wire to go through, rubber bung, it's got to be sealed from the rest of the vehicle. And if you look up here, wire bracket, the uh, gas, the spare gas cooker sits under there quite nicely as well. And then Fredder's masterpiece has done this and uh, just given it a better housing, made it straighter and that sort of thing. So uh, yeah, much stronger shelf now as well. It ain't going to be moving about as much. But uh, yeah, we are going to call it there for today guys. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, we will catch you on the next episode of the Superbus Project. All the best. Bye bye.